The magic name in basketball, UCLA, number three in the country, led by Rocket Rod Foster and a blazing fast break, most explosive in the country. And Maryland, with a youth movement, three freshmen and a transfer starting with Adrian Branch. And it may rely on the play of Branch, a sophomore, to pry and pull off the upset of UCLA tonight. Metro Sports presents UCLA Maryland basketball featuring the third ranked Bruins of UCLA and the Terrapins of the University of Maryland. And now introducing the starting lineups. First at forward from UCLA, 6'8 senior from Mission Hills, California, number 30, Darren Day. At forward from Maryland, 6'9", junior from Somerset, Kentucky, number 22, Mark Fothergill. At forward from UCLA, 6'7", junior from Los Angeles, California, number 54, Kenny Fields. At forward from Maryland, 6'8", freshman from Landover, Maryland, number 34, Len Bias. At center from UCLA, 7-foot sophomore from Sepulveda, California, number 55, Stuart Gray. At center from Maryland, 6'9", junior from Minneapolis, Minnesota, number 54, Ben Coleman. At guard from UCLA, 6'2", junior from Inglewood, California, number 3, Ralph Jackson. At guard from Maryland, 6'5", sophomore from Martinsville, Virginia, number 10, Jeff Adkins. At guard from UCLA, 6'1", inch senior from New Britain, Connecticut, number 10, Rod Foster. At guard from Maryland, 6'8", sophomore, from Largo, Maryland, number 24, Adrian Branch. UCLA assistant coaches Kevin O'Connor and Craig Eppelman, head coach Larry Farmer. Maryland coaches John Cochan, Mel Cartwright, Sherman Dillard, Maryland head coach Lefty Drizel. Officials for tonight's game, Joe Forte, John Clockerty, Len Wirtz. Well, we're set to go, and Jim Gibbons, that's going to be played under old-fashioned basketball rules. There's uh, Larry Farmer on the left. Looks like he has things back in the Johnny Wooden mold at UCLA. There'll be no shot clock, and there'll be no three-point basket here. And both of these teams play in the conference where they have both of those rules, but they're not going to have it tonight, which surprises me. Coleman and the yellow. By the way, Maryland superstitiously wearing its gold uniforms tonight. We'll tell you more about that as we go. Here's Darren Day as UCLA controls the tap. And they go right to Rocket Rod Foster at the outside. Rebound by Maryland. Pulled down by Ben Coleman. Adrian Branch here starting at guard. The line that we were given earlier has been changed again. And Maryland has started a completely new lineup. Coleman clears outside to Branch for the jump shot. Rebound comes off to Darren Day. No score in the opening minutes, but Maryland had announced they would start three freshmen. They start only one, Lenny Bias. Farber did not get the starting call. Perhaps his injury had not healed, nor did Baxter at guard. Here goes Jackson down the middle, penetrating with a scoop shot tipped by Gray. Cleared on the outside to Rocket Rod Foster, and UCLA will set it up again. Hey, Maryland is zoning right off the bat now. They're playing some man-to-man, -man, some zone. Well, in a matchup, here goes uh, Jackson, the outside, rebound, a good box out by Coleman, giving the rebound a branch. And here now is Jeff Atkins, who had been scheduled not to start tonight, but here he is, in at guard despite a broken index finger on his left hand. Man for man defense by UCLA, down to Coleman. Coleman walks, trying to get position on the seven-foot Stuart Gray. That'll turn it over to UCLA. See, that's just being over-anxious right there, Jim. And Maryland is into this game. If Lefty was worried about intensity, they've got it back because the entire bench has been standing. Well, the hot men for UCLA have been their forwards, Fields and Day. And they've gotten good play from Rod Foster back court. Jackson with a drive inside the baseline. He has really been cold. That's three misses for Jackson. And again, the rebound by Maryland's Ben Coleman. And he's had some pretty good percentage shots, Jim. It's not that he shouldn't have taken them. He just hasn't been hitting. Little pressure being put on by Foster against Adkins. Branch now driving on the inside, gets the left-hand shot off. Branch inside to follow his own shot, puts it up and in. <laughs> Maryland draws first blood and off to a 2 nothing lead. UCLA back to Stuart Gray, hooking with the right hand, spins away, and Coleman's got it again. Four rebounds for Coleman so right. far. And they've been holding UCLA to just that one shot. They haven't been getting any offensive rebounds yet. 
man to man by UCLA. They won't play much of anything else. They'll challenge you. Len Bias, outstanding freshman, passes better. Here's the fast break. Foster coming down the right side. He's cut off. Under to Gray for the layup. Oh, Beautiful pass. Great pass is right, Jim. That was their transition right there, but it just doesn't seem that, that UCLA has gotten them into their rhythm yet so far. They've not gotten that three-lane fast break really working as smoothly as it has in previous game, notably against Iowa LSU. 2-2 two -two tie. Playing a 1-2-2 -two -two offense with Branch running it out front. Coleman and Bias alternating on the high-low post switch. They want to get it inside to Coleman. They've gone in there twice, a couple of times. Once he walked, another time he lost possession of the ball. He got off one shot. Seems to me they are going to try to pound it inside to Coleman because Gray is playing dead behind him. I think they want to go to Coleman and get Gray in foul right. trouble. Exactly. Well, it looks yeah. like what they're trying to do anyway. Here goes Branch, penetrating. Branch inside, fouled on the play. The foul's going to be against Kenny Fields of UCLA. First foul of the ball game, and they got the branch, who's a whirling dervish, yeah, penetrating the shoot. You can talk about your one-on-one -on -one players. He is absolutely excellent at it. A marvelous finesse player, only a sophomore. Lefty Drizel, who's had a great career here at Maryland. He's averaged 20 wins over his 20, uh, 22 years of coaching. 40, 463 victories. Two shots to branch. A very prolific scoring young man here from Largo, Maryland. Played for the famed Amatha Academy and Morgan Wooten. That's produced so many great stars in the Washington, D.C. area. Adrian Branch, who's 6'8", starting tonight at guard. Maryland back to a one-point lead now, 3-2. UCLA has left to, uh, yet to lead. They really respect Foster's quickness. They have to lay off him until he gets down very, very close. Yeah, Maryland's playing a man-to-man, -man, so they're going to try to run their passing game right now. That means Darren Day spinning on the inside, hitting. Boy, what a great start he's had, Jim. Boy, they're forwards, they're bookends, but, you know, and one's as good as the other, and they get not only offensively, but very good defensively and good rebounders. Now, that was the man-for-man -man press by UCLA, not their zone press, so Atkins was able to dribble right through them. Four to three, UCLA leading for the first time. Mark Fothergill got a surprise start. There he is, number 22, and here's Branch. They want Branch controlling the ball most of the evening. The one, two, two offense. They're setting up a double post on both sides of the free throw lane, and this is to their advantage. Oh, bad pass by Fothergill. Here's Coleman racing with Jackson. Great pass today, and he's fouled by Coleman. They're going to ask now for goaltending. But I don't think that will be allowed. Instead, Ben Coleman prevented the dunk shot and gets a foul. Boy, now let's take a look. See, there's a great pass right there. He's their assist leader. Just Coleman bothered him just enough, Jim, that he couldn't get that dunk that he wanted. But he had the presence of mind to ask the official if it was a goal tending or a basket interference Well, call. from the replay, it looked like a good call. Yes, it, it was. It did not look like interference, did it? It was a good call. This guy's gained 20 pounds since last year, but it doesn't look like he's lost any quickness, Jim. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, he really worked at it, and he put on 20 or 25 pounds, and he's much improved both in rebounding and in shooting. UCLA going for three-point lead. That's the first time either team's led by three. It is now 6-3 to three with 15.47 to go. There's the timeout with the score. UCLA 6, Maryland 3. Now let's pause for these messages. A bad cold hits your whole body. Alka-Seltzer Plus Liquid Gels, rush relief everywhere you need it. It's the most complete relief you can get in a liquid gel. So you feel better, fast. Alka-Seltzer Plus Liquid Gels. It's 2010. Weren't we supposed to have time machines by now? I mean, if we at Coke Zero can give the world real Coke taste with zero calories, then why can't science give us an unlimited supply of do-overs? Man, you dance like a man. I, I dance like a man? What? No, wait. <laughs> mm. We've bent the rules of taste. Physicist, isn't it time to bend time? Da, 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 da. Remember this place? It's where we first met. What about here? Our first kiss. I don't remember this place. He will. The visibly brighter Leo Diamond. One more reason K is the number one jewelry store in America. Every kiss begins with K. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites, or you could graduate to eHarmony. eHarmony isn't a dating site. It's a relationship site 
We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values, things proven to be the foundation of successful long-term relationships. If you want love, don't settle for a dating site. Go to eHarmony.com. Get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. He is a master driver. His job is to measure what computers cannot. How a car moves you. Emotionally. Because that is the ultimate luxury. The newly redesigned Infiniti G Coupe. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot, it's uncomfortable, it's smelly, it's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College, ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Maryland scored the first two points of the game, but since then, UCL has outscored the Terrapins 6-1, to one, including the last four, and it's now 6-3, and here's the full-court zone it. press There's now. the 2-2-1 that they're famous for. They're going to do that after violations, after free throws. They're in it right now. Lob pass to Atkins, so there's the tall frame of guard uh, Jeff Atkins, who stands 6-5, lending itself to beat the press. Brass lobs inside, Coleman, great position. There's an interesting thing, Jim. Fields had him one-on-one, -on -one, but instead of drawing a foul, which you can do, he just let it go. They're talented enough that they're disciplined enough. They aren't going to pick up a cheap foul like that. Glad he had been beaten, Jim. Right, exactly. So you wish him bad luck. It's about everything <laughs> you do. 6-5 outside Foster. Got it. Rod Foster hits the outside perimeter for UCLA. They're back up by three again at 8-5. to five. The There's UCLA the feels they can extend the defense. Maryland's well set on this press. Coleman now works inside, hooks up over Gray, and he hits it. Well, the Maryland strategy is obvious. They're going to send Coleman against the freshman or sophomore Gray. And Gray wasn't happy. I'll get into it. Go ahead. Here goes Fields, hitting at the other end. Kenny Fields. Four of the five starters have scored for UCLA. The Bruins are up 10 to 7. Adrian Branch dribbles past the press. He's 6'8". Here goes Lenny Bias banking. Rebound is off by Gray. Now the fast break for UCLA, but Maryland's got three men back. They got five men back. Boy, they respect the Bruin. Foster blocked by Atkins. Pulled down by Cole. Great defensive move. See, so UCLA extended their defense to try to pick up the tempo, and that's what they've done. Lob inside the Coleman, partially broken up by Gray. UCLA on the run again. Jackson with a throttle. Cutting around Branch, and there's a reach-in foul by Adrian Branch. Number one on him, number two against Mary. See, I thought the first three or four minutes, Jim, that UCLA was a bit listless. They weren't using the 2-2-1 two, two, press. I think they called, they got that TV timeout. They then came out, Larry Farmer sent them into that to pick up the tempo. Maryland got right into it with them, which they didn't want to do, and now the game is upbeat. Hard right, Fields, weak side to Rod Foster. Foster penetrating, partially blocked. And Atkins picks up the third Maryland foul, his first. And Rod Foster, who set a new record free throw, and goes the line. Let's take a look and see if the 14,000 that are booing this. Oh boy, he's got the hand right up on top of the ball, didn't he, Jim? Well, now he may have got. Like yeah, he may have gotten him with the body. If we had another angle, we can look at that. But it didn't look like Jeff was right up there at the top of the jump. Foster has not been as razor sharp as he was a year ago when he had 95 out of 100 to set a new all-time NCAA record. He's already missed four free throws this year, but he gets these two, and UCLA stretches out to its biggest lead, 12 to 7 and 5. They're going to keep the pressure on him right now. 
Now they're picking up man for man now. And that's going to be able to get past Rod, Rod Foster and over the line. You can almost hardly ever take a dribbler one on one anymore. No. Nope. Not if he keeps the defensive player moving. Active goes inside. There goes Bias inside. Bias for his own rebound. Knocked out of his hands by Day. And there'll be Maryland ball right there. There's a young man that's a gifted athlete. I talked to one of the assistant coaches from Minnesota who said that young man is really talented. And I saw him sky right there, right up over Day. They set an inside play here for Atkins coming across behind the screen. Jeff Atkins for Maryland, 12 to 9. The UCLA lead back to three. Rod Foster cuts a good fake by Foster off with a shot. Did not get the basket. There was a traveling on the play. So Foster turns it over. These yellow uniforms by Maryland were four first worn in the ACC tournament against Virginia. They beat Virginia, one of the great victories of all time for Maryland, with Ralph Sampson, a sophomore. And since then, they only wear them on big games, Jim, and they've got an amazing record. I think they've lost only one time with them. Well, you've seen a lot of Maryland basketball games and know about all the great upsets. Anything's possible, especially here in Cole. Well, uniforms are not going to win for you, but <laughs> sometimes a frame of mind can. Sure can. But there goes Coleman taking it on Gray the fall away. Hits. Six points for General Ben. And Maryland has pulled back within one point. 12-11. Maryland staying right in that man-to-man -man defense. Here goes Holton, who's coming to line up. The rebound will go off to Atkins for Maryland. Terrapins have a chance now. This is a very festive. End of the year for Maryland Athletics. Their football team's out in Hawaii for the Aloha Bowl. Metro Sports will be covering that for you on Christmas Day. See, they got a double low down on the one side with Coleman out on the high post. Again, Coleman. Oh, that's great. They've got to make an adjustment here pretty soon, Jim, because Coleman is red hot right now, and Stuart Gray just isn't able to handle him one-on-one. -on -one. Well, we might see uh, Curtis Wright come in here. He's a very quick player. Can he feels baseline. Two UCLA players collide. Maryland's got it with a fast break. Branch is going to hold it up. Two UCLA players ran together, and they lost the rebound. That was Stuart Gray that knocked Michael Holton right to the floor. Jackson coming out to pressure Atkins. UCLA man-to-man -man defense. Same, same offensive setup. Two down in the low post. Coleman setting the screen so that Branch can play one-on-one -on, -one on the weak side right here. They've really been hitting Coleman with success. Now screen by Coleman. Atkins under to Coleman. Batted back outside to Gray. Here comes uh, Colton on the fast break. Down the middle for the layup. Stuffed in by Gray. What a follow. See, that's great reaction. Boy, all you pivot men at a lower level, even at the college level, boy, you've got to go to that board, and that was a great reaction right there. All right, we got a timeout right here with 11 and a half minutes to go in the first half. 14-13, UCLA leads, and we'll be back with more UCLA Maryland basketball after these messages. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Boys, welcome to the Trump Dome. Uh, this is just your office. Cool it, Johnny Touchdown. Ready! Gentlemen, you're about to lose to the smartest, Set. most classy, Play. highest quality, handsomest DSRL champions ever. In fact, soon the Trump Organization will acquire the Manning name and turn it into a luxury hotel. Done. Done. Winner! Taste it, Trump! How's that feel, Donnie? You're fired. You're fired. Nice suit. You're a dashing man. I know it. May I help you? Yes, uh, I hear Progressive has lots of discounts on car insurance. Can I get in on that? Are you a safe driver? Yes. Discount. Do you own a home? Yes. Discount. Are you gonna buy online? Yes. Discount. <laughs> Isn't getting discounts great? Yes. There's no discount for agreeing with me. Yeah, I got carried away. It happens to me all the time. Helping you save money. Now that's Progressive. Call or click today. ESPN, your NBA destination. 
Tomorrow, Dwayne Wade looks to prove that he belongs among the East Elite. Oh, Dwayne Wade! As they battle KG and the division leading Celtics. Then, the Suns try to get back on track as they take on Carmelo Anthony and the surging Nuggets. Beautiful teamwork for the Nuggets. NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Heat Celtics and Suns Nuggets. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern. For the very first time, two active UFC Hall of Famers will meet inside the octagon as Randy the Natural Couture and Mark the Hammer Coleman engage in an ultimate war of legends. On Super Saturday, a night stacked full of superstars, including Nate the Great Marquardt, Mike Quick Swick, former UFC champ Matt Serra, and Damian Maya. Bud Light presents UFC 109, Relentless, Saturday, February 6th from the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. On DirecTV, pay-per-view. I know, your portfolio's down. <laughs> Everybody's hurting. <laughs> Driver, I need to pick up my dry cleaning. You're a huckleberry. But switching to Scott Trade? <laughs> what are you gonna do, pick your stocks yourself? <laughs> yeah, I know, they have tons of online research, but you and me, we go way back. Why spoil the fun? <laughs> the fun. Come to Scott Trade. With the tools, research, and support we provide, you'll wonder why you worked with anyone else. <laughs> the fun. <laughs> Scott Trade, get invested. The latter part of the first half saw Maryland pull ahead of UCLA with solid shooting and strong interior play. As we get back to the game early in the second half, the Terps now lead the Bruins 41 to 30 here on ESPN Classic. The broadcast cable cast rise to this game are granted by the University of California, Los Angeles to Metro Communication Incorporated. Any rebroadcast or the use of this telecast without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this telecast have been hired and paid by Metro Communication Incorporated in consultation with the University of California, Los Angeles. 11 point lead by Maryland, 41 to 30. Under 16 minutes to go in the game. Atkins being hawked by Foster. Coleman now wants to take right. Coleman inside. Rebound down by Day. Here comes uh, Day off the UCLA rebound for the fast break. But there was a foul before the shot. It's either Branch or Bias. Both were reaching in. And it's going to be on uh, Bias or Branch. That was Coleman's first miss for the evening, wasn't it, Jim? Yep. First miss. Let's see if we can get it right here now. Yep, there it is. Fine camera work, and boy, you caught it right there at the top. Nice going. Out of bounds play to UCL. I think the foul they called, Jim, was before that one. It was. I'm sorry if it was, but if, if they were, they had two of them then because he got them also. UCLA isn't really in a drought. Inside to right for a layup. He got in front of Coleman for a position, and Wright has come in a little more quickness than Gray. Here's a steal by Holton and a foul by Branch. That's a pretty good foul because that would have been a sure two points, but it's the third foul on Branch. You know, and now UCLA pressure right. affecting the game for the first time. I sensed when they called that timeout, Jim, that they were going to extend their defense even more. I'm talking about their 2-2-1 uh, zone press. I thought maybe they might go into an even more aggressive press because they just can't sit back and wait much longer. UCLA now scored the last two points. They've got the ball with still over 15 minutes to go, trailing by nine. Kenny Fields, Fothergill. Fields over, Fothergill hitting. Kenny Fields, now UCLA beginning to hit. Kevin O'Connor's up there telling him to get up there and start creating some uh, pressure. Here's the press finally beaten by Fothergill. Now UCLA is really putting on the pressure, and it cost Holton. Second foul on Michael Holton. Fourth team foul of the half against the Bruins. 41-34. There it is right there. There's the body right there. Now watch him coming across and watch the hand go in and watch him get him right there. Stripped See, him from the ball, but he caught the arm. They can afford to take these kinds of chances, Jim, because even if Maryland beats it, they're not taking the shot. So UCLA can gamble, and they're going to get one of, of every five or six maybe. East, uh, Maryland still featuring Adrian Branch. They're in a very deliberate offense here, reminiscent of what they did they over the last part of last year. There's a turnover. Yeah, Branch lost the one. dribble. Rod Foster coming back for UCLA. Holton now looking for a screen. One thing I want to say about UCLA, and I've seen them, as I said, four times already. I have never seen them lose their poise. Well, if they score, it'll be six straight points. That'll be in quite a rally. 
Fields almost intercepted the pass intended for Foster. 41 34 Maryland. UCLA now showing signs of coming back. That was swatted out by Adrian Branch, who's played a super game for Maryland along with Ben Coleman. UCLA being carried now by Kenny Fields. Big part of the game right now because if UCLA scores, they put that much more pressure on Maryland to feel that they have to turn around and score at the other end. UCLA taking more time than they like. Fields on the outside, two in a row for him. Wow. Kenny Field, one of the all-time great shooters for UCLA. There's now the, the lead has been cut from 11 down to five. 41-36. Atkins looking for help. There's five. Lefty wants a time. That's a yes, good sir. timeout for Maryland. Good one. Maryland timeout with 13:38 to go on the game, and UCLA has now cut it down to five. And with a score, Maryland 41, UCLA 36. Let's pause for these messages. Now that every pizza is just 10 bucks at Pizza Hut, you would not believe how much money I save. Well, my parents' money. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings, only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. Is your computer running slowly? Does it take more than three seconds for your email to load? Are you frustrated with error messages, blue screens, computer freezes and crashes? These are not only annoying, but can cause permanent damage to your computer. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, your computer and your privacy may be at risk. Because these are usually the telltale signs of a virus. And it can only get worse until you act. Get a free diagnosis at MyCleanPC.com. MyCleanPC is outstanding, and my computer is running faster than ever. MyCleanPC came through with flying colors when no one else could. MyCleanPC totally cleaned up my system and increased my speed. MyCleanPC.com can remove spyware, viruses, and infected emails, all speeding up your PC's performance. It offers all-in-one protection, and it's been downloaded by millions of users. Even if you have antivirus software, your computer could still be infected. Find out instantly with a free comprehensive diagnosis at MyCleanPC.com. Attention all homeowners. Do you want help today? Call the Loan Modification Help Hotline now. We may be able to cut your mortgage payment in half and help to reduce your interest payment to as low as 1%. Find out what we can do for you today. The call is free. The consultation is free. Discover how much we can reduce your mortgage payment. Call now for a free consultation. We have trained staff ready to assist you. Call 1-800-230-3075. Super Bowl coverage on ESPN. It's all about team when you get ready for Super Bowl week. And nobody will get you ready better than our team. All week, Sports Center is live from South Florida for Fun in the Sun, along with the crew from NFL Live. Then, Super Bowl Sunday kicks off at 10 with four hours of Sunday NFL countdown. That in itself is amazing. After the game, we'll break it down on NFL Primetime. It was a great team effort. ESPN, your home for complete Super Bowl coverage all week long. UCLA now finding its way back, and they pull back within five points. Do you sense a momentum change, Yes, Jim? certainly. Okay. Absolutely. No question I, about it. I felt it. the same way, and UCLA is now creating a lot of problems with the full court pressure. In fact, they've gone out of the 2-2-1 famous press they have, and they're playing more man-for-man -man on the press. Atkins lops the inside. Loose ball, and it's grabbed by Fothergill. Maryland hangs on, but now UCLA is dictating things with its pressure defense. And Maryland looks like it's gotten a little bit tentative here. Right. Down the middle goes Lenny Bias. Dumps inside to Coleman. That was good inside play as you'll ever see in a game. Larry Farmer very unhappy because he thought Bias charged after the pass, and he did. He knocked the UCLA player right to the floor. Here's Darren Day shooting room. Rebound by Branch. 43-36. Maryland back up by seven. Bias now looking for Branch. There he is. Branch outside. Loose ball. Man, UCLA's got it. Rod Foster kicks off the 3 2 break. Foster in the lane. Uh -oh. There's the three lane break that you were talking about, Jim. That's the picture for a way to run the fast yeah. break. 43 38. UCLA back within five. Long time to go in this game. 12 and a half minutes. Michael Holton, boy, he is really putting pressure on Adrian Branch. He's probably the, the best defensive guard oh, yeah. UCLA's got. 
And here goes Brandt stopping inside with a left hand shot. Rebound is off by Fields. UCLA can cut it to three. 12 minutes to go, and it's Foster on the run hitting. Two in a row for Rocket Rod. Yeah, and of, UCLA back within three. A couple of people have turned on, boy, and now they're getting into it a little more now. You can see it happening. And now Maryland is playing more tentatively. And the foul's going to be on Rod Foster. Reaching in, that's the first foul on Foster. Team foul number five on UCLA of the second half. Maryland has committed four. 11.54 to go. And we'll get a timeout right here and how this game is changing around. Larry Farmer's Bruins have clawed back into things. They once trailed by 11, but now with a score, Maryland 43, UCLA 40. Let's pause for these messages. It begins with a brush stroke, a simple yet powerful line, uniting engineering and emotion, connecting driver to road, separating infinity from every other luxury car in the world. The newly redesigned Infiniti G sedan. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. We got ADT because I walked in on a burglary once. The physical damage was pretty bad. The emotional toll was even worse. Our daughter had nightmares. What that robber really took from us was our peace of mind. With ADT, we got it back. Every 15 seconds, a burglary takes place in the United States. Help protect your family with a fast alarm response of ADT. A single ADT system can help protect your home from burglary, fire, and carbon monoxide. When an alarm is received, ADT can call the local authorities for help. And you get this monitor protection, plus great local service, all for about a dollar a day. And only ADT offers a theft protection guarantee. Take it from me. The time to think about a security system isn't after something bad happens. It's before. Call now and save over $250 when you buy ADT's family package. And ask about our new technology, like our keychain remote. ADT. Always there. Do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? Bill Schaefer, co-inventor of the Splash Wash, did. He came up with the idea while watching his children play. Invent helped submitted his idea to Whammo, makers of toys like the Frisbee and the Hula Hoop. Hi. I'm Clarence McGee, the sales director of InventHelp. To find out how we can help you try to submit your idea to companies, call for your free information. Bill Schaefer made a financial gain with his invention. Bill's experience is not typical, and most inventions are not successful. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-361-0086. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Sometimes you run up a big league and the uh, team comes back to rally, you can shut them off. But, Jim, does you think something about UCLA that's rather ominous, and they start coming at you, you get a different feeling. Oh, you sure do. That's that tradition, you know, the mystique. Uh, we've, we've been around it, both of us, uh, a lot of places, and uh, people don't like to believe it's there, but I think it is. Herman Veal now is coming it forward for Maryland. Giving a little bit more experience on the floor for the Terrapins, whose lead has been cut now from 11 to 3. Eight straight points by UCLA. Or they've actually scored 10 out of 12. Outscoring Maryland 10 to 2. Maryland led 41 to 30, and it's now 43 to 40. Screen set for Atkins, but Foster stays right with him. Holton's got to get given the job of checking. The talented 6'8", Adrian Branch. 
They're simply playing as we said in the first half, Jim. The screen shows it. The 1 2 2 popping people out from the top and the bottom. That's the double post freeze. They set a double post, two men on either side, and they let one guy slay down with the ball, usually Branch. Uh, here's the perfect setup for it. Right. Every time Branch gets an advantage, the bottom defensive player for UCLA jumps out and takes his path away to the basket. That's how they're defensing it. They're not really stalling for time. If Branch almost lost it, saves it nicely for Father Gill. See, this is a long time to sit on a ball. You've been around this area where they've sat on it for longer periods. There goes Coleman inside, and he's fouled on the play. Fantastic game by Coleman, and he's fouled on the play by there he is. Watch the move to the basket. Great first step. Watch the move right now. There it is. Wasn't much doubt about it, was there? No, nope. Ben Coleman, who transferred from Minnesota, has that same aggressive attitude that Buck Williams had, but their styles, of course, are completely different. Minnesota coaching staff, I had their game last night in Jacksonville, Florida, and Jim Williams said they're very high. They thought this man was a great player, very strong. Rebound, that'll be a rebounding foul on Father Gill. He knew it, over the shoulder. Second foul on Father Gill. Team foul number five against Maryland. Ten minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Maryland by five at 45-40 over UCLA. Boy, UCLA's won a lot of close games. DePaul, Notre Dame. Well, they've been in a pressure cooker. Yeah, they've, they've been through it before, especially these seniors. My gosh, Fields and Day, they, Holton, they've all been through it. Don't forget Foster. And Foster. There he is, Rod Foster. Almost got away from him there. Darren Day ran it down. Merrill in a pretty good shifting zone right now. They're doing all right. They're going to force him to take that shot from outside because Day and Fields aren't getting inside like they were before, see? The only one they've got inside is, is Gray. All right, look at Fields. Boy, Fields has hit three in a row, two of them from that same spot. There's 45 the 42. Another three point deficit now for UCLA. They've fought their way back. Less than 10 minutes to go in the game. There's Veal touching the ball for the first time. Batted out by Foster. See, Boy, is he quick? You've got to check your passing lanes when you're playing this kind of a game because UCLA is overplaying all the passing lanes and gambling, as I said before, because they can do it and still get away with it. Are they leaving the back door open anywhere, Jim? No, know. they're not. They're, they're, they've got somebody that's always shifting down and cutting it off, and that's, what's, that's why you can gamble. Boy, UCLA really putting pressure now. Here's Branch almost trapped down the middle of the floor. Branch drives on the inside. He's fouled on the play. Holton got him on the arm. That's uh, either Holton or Gray. Let's see who they charge it to. Let's see. See him coming up from behind. Watch on the screen. There it is. Right from behind. Michael Holton Holton's right there. third personal foul. And this puts Branch up for two. He's hit four out of five. At 16 points in the game. Now, I'll be anxious, Jim, the next time Maryland comes down to see if they change their offense because if they do, I think it's a good move because they're not getting anything except an outside possibility, and maybe that's all Lefty wants right now. I'm not going to coach his team, but they won't get the weak side help and everything. That was a good question you asked if he changes the offense and lets Branch play a little more one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Veal almost had the offensive rebound, but UCLA's got it. Miguel comes up with it down to Foster. 46-42, Maryland by four. 9.20 to go in the game. Zone defense at the other end. Trying to force UCLA to go up with the long one. They've been going to Kenny Fields, and it's uh, paid off. Right now, Fields is out of the lineup for Miguel. Gray, baseline. Rebound, Maryland. Grabbed by Atkins. Hey, that's not his shot. Branch lobs to Coleman underneath, and it's knocked out of bounds by UCLA. Boy, Coleman almost had another dunk shot. Oh, he's got a foul right there, I think, which surprises me, but he's got a foul, and I think an out of bounds. He has, right? All right, it's against uh, Foster. Second foul on Rod Foster, and that's going to be 17. One and one, right? one and one, right? Yep. 17 fouls, and Larry Farmer, a little concerned across that brow right now, but he's been there before, as we pointed out this season. He's been in a lot of close ball games. They beat the. Uh, Brigham Young by three. Right. DePaul in overtime. overtime. Notre Dame by a point. Iowa, they broke open in the final minute. Yep. Here's a 66% shooter right here. Yeah. Never can tell, can you? Nope. 23 out of 35 coming into the night.
He gets the bonus. He averaged uh, eight and a half points, about five rebounds a game at Minnesota. I don't, know, I don't know how much confidence he had before tonight, Jim, but he ought to have an awful lot more after this is over with. Well, that equals his highest game he's ever had at Maryland, 20 points, and we've got nine minutes to go. Maryland Still a long six. time, long time. It's a very unflappable team, UCLA. That zone is really doing a good job. Rod Foster on the outside connects for the Bruins. 48-44. Roster with 10 points just tied David Myers for 20th place all time for UCLA with that basket. Man for man with the Bruins. They'll keep up this relentless pressure on the ball by uh, with Maryland controlling now with eight and a half minutes to go. See the advantage they have is that Gray isn't going to be able to guard Father Gill, so he can always be an outlet man because Gray just can't play him one on one. Uh, watch how often they uh, goes Branch driving down the middle. Rebound is off by Miguel. Here comes the fast break. Cutting for the middle is Holton. Holton feeds on the side today for the jump shot. Hit it. Now UCLA is connecting with about everything. 48-46, the closest UCLA has been since the first half. What an unbelievably soft touch feels in day half. Just marvelous. Time out from Maryland. Left to Grizel. Orchestrating from the sideline. Wants to know why you took that shot. He can almost read his lips, but he did, and here we are. Two-point game. And with a score, Maryland 48, UCLA 46. Let's pause for these messages. It's no surprise that millions of Americans get married each year. But what might surprise you is that 2% of those newlyweds met on eHarmony. That's an average of 236 people a day. People who were looking for someone they could really connect with and found something much deeper on eHarmony. Only eHarmony matches you based on deep dimensions of compatibility. And that means you'll find something more meaningful from your first date onward. Try eHarmony.com today and review all your matches absolutely free. Hi, I'm John Shear, CEO and founder of Video Professor. Is your lack of computer skills holding you back? I've been trying to get into office work and it's been a real challenge to increase my skills fast enough to keep up with the younger people. Do you have the computer skills to get a job or a better paying job or even a promotion? or perhaps just keep the job that you do have? We actually don't even talk to people that don't have computer skills. See how easy it is to get the computer skills you need. If you call right now, I'll send you a demo learning CD free. This CD will prove to you there's no better way to get computer skills than with Video Professor. You have nothing to lose. Try my product. Don't wait another second to improve your life. Call now and get your great learning demo CD absolutely free. You'll see how fast and easy you can learn eBay, Windows, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other video lesson. Call now to get the skills you need to succeed. Just pay shipping and processing. Call 1-800-257-8404. ESPN, your NBA destination. Tomorrow, Dwayne Wade looks to prove that he belong among the East's elite. Oh, Dwayne Wade! As they battle KG and the division-leading Celtics. Then, the Suns try to get back on track as they take on Carmelo Anthony and the surging Nuggets. Beautiful teamwork for the Nuggets. NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Heat Celtics and Suns Nuggets. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern. Do you want tighter, firmed abs, but don't have the time to work out? Introducing the Sportelec Ab Toning Belt. The Sportelec stimulates the muscles in your abs to crunch and contract, all without you having to do any exercise. Man, that is incredible. I can't believe I'm getting an ab workout. <laughs> Thermographic testing confirms that the Sportelec activates your entire core. Use it while watching TV, in the office, walking, cooking, reading, or just lounging around. You do nothing. The Sportelec will do it for you. Over 2 million customers around the world have used the Sportelec, and now you can try it for only $14.95. That's right, only $14.95. But wait, because when you pay in full today, shipping is free. Sportelec is guaranteed or your money back. So call 1-800-640-8869. That's 1-800-640-8869. Call 1-800-640-8869. Call now. Maryland's ball here. The lead has been whittled all the way to two points. They were on, once up by 11. UCLA, a relentless comeback. Means they put Stuart Gray on the bench now. Atkins driving and draws the foul. Blocking on Darren Day. That's the first foul of the game on Day. That'll put Atkins on the line for a pair. 
Much smaller, much smaller UCLA. You see the body right now. He just came over to try to give the weak side help right there. Wasn't there in time. Well, once again, I want to invite our viewers on ESPN across the nation on cable. Total Sports Network bringing you tonight's game live. This is Jim Thacker with Jim Gibbons from College Park, Maryland, and a great game we've seen so far. Maryland by three. Adkins on the line with a second shot by four. 50 46 Maryland trying to upset UCLA, but the Bruins have clawed back here in the second half. Seven and a half minutes to go. Inside they go to Darren Day, but he was fouled on the play. Foul on Herman Veal. First foul on Veal, and the team foul number six. So both teams will be on the bonus the rest of the way. On this play, UCLA gets out of bounds play. It was right here that UCLA won one of its uh, 10 NCAA championships, beating Jacksonville in 1970. Foster starts his baseline drive. They're showing a man-to-man -man with a lot of zone principles, though, Jim. You can see it. There's another one right yep. there. That'll be a holding foul yep. by Father Gale. Yep. Feels a little too quick for Father Gale. That's the third foul on Mark. And now we'll go to the one and one for UCLA. And at both ends, and in the last seven minutes, that's going to be the big thing because you've got to in this kind of a game where everyone counts, you've got to be able to hit them. 70% shooter, Kenny Fields, one of the all-time field goal for shooters, ranked seventh all time in his career he's at 56 percent in the field but here he is at the line for one and one and Coleman has the rebound from Maryland big miss on that front end those hurt that really do now let's see how long he tries to hold it before they take a shot seven minutes to go seven minutes five seconds let's take a look we'll, we'll be able to tell them 50 46 Jeff Adkins now taking a little of the pressure off Adrian Branch here comes Branch back at the throttle. I try to burn at least two minutes off right now because UCLA needs at least three more possessions, obviously, to win it, assuming that Maryland doesn't score. Of course, under the new rule, of course, if you get the five second call on the jump ball, it always goes to the defense. Right. So Maryland has to be wary of that. They're going to stay on this tactic. That becomes a violation. Father Gill now looking for an open man. 30 seconds they've had it so far, Jim. I'd keep my people moving. I'd make that defense work. Oh, there it is. Picked out, it. loose ball. Oh. Maryland's got it. Branch inside to Coleman, and Coleman lost the ball. But they've got a foul on UCLA. Holding foul. One and one to Coleman. Well, I want to tell you, let's see if we can pick it up, Jim, because I didn't, obviously. I don't know where it was. Right there with Jackson. You have to reach in right there. Uh -huh. Jackson, that'll be his fourth foul. And Coleman will go back to the line. He's two for three. And if he hits a point here, it'll be the biggest point total he's ever had for Maryland. This is his first year after transferring from the University of Minnesota. At this point, that's what you consider a good foul because there's no way that you're going to give that big guy another dunk. This way, you put him on the line and force him to make the two free throws. Got to make the first one. Remember a moment ago, Kenny Fields field. missed at the other end. Coleman does not. He gets the bonus. That's three straight for Coleman and 21 points. That's his big night of the year so far. And he adds to that. 52-46. Maryland back to a six-point lead with six minutes to go. They're really howling now here at Coalfield House. 14,500. Long one by Holton. Rebound by UCLA's Darren Day. And wide open here as Holton has it batted out of bounds. Boy, what a clever play by Coleman. Boy, that's a big, that's a big rebound by Darren Day, I want to tell you. But watch the great head and shoulder move right there. That's all right on Coleman's part. I would have done the same thing if to do nothing else but to to try to throw off his rhythm. 52-46. Zone defense by Maryland. Trying to protect the six-point lead. Long one by Rod Foster outside for UCLA. 12 points for Foster. 52-48. Foster now the 20th leading all-time scorer for UCLA. Has now passed David Myers. 
Here's Atkins being hawked by Foster. Gets by him. Atkins behind his back to Bill. What a nonchalant move that was with the pressure on. <laughs> Lefty just stood up on that one. Four point lead. 52 48. Over five minutes to go. Back to the free. Here goes Branch dunking inside. Oh, missed a great opportunity. And there's a foul on the play against Kenny Fields of UCLA. Good inside position right underneath here. And I hope we can get it on Mark Father. Gill. watch the inside position. Instead of standing now, he went right to the basket. There it is right there. And a good call because he did go up over his back. That's the fourth foul on Fields. And that could be a big one. Timeout for UCLA. And the Maryland fans now are picking up the tempo again. Boys, welcome to the Trump Dome. Uh, this is just your office. Cool it, Johnny. Touchdown. Ready. Gentlemen, you're about to lose to the smartest, Set. most classy, Play. highest quality, handsomest DSRL champions ever. In fact, soon the Trump Organization will acquire the Manning name and turn it into a luxury. Done. Done. Winner. Taste the Trump. How's that feel, Donnie? You're fired. You're fired. My suit. You're a dashing man. I know it. Are drafty doors and windows forcing you to crank up the heat? 30% of your energy bill is literally flying out the door. Introducing Twin Draft Guard, the double-sided insulating miracle that's guaranteed to create an airtight seal. It's twice as effective because it seals air from both sides of the door. We used a hair dryer to show you how air seeps under the door. Install the Twin Draft Guard to create an airtight seal. Nothing gets through. Patented Twin Draft Guard is so easy to install. Just slide it onto any door. It's that simple. Twin Draft Guard adjusts to any door or window. Cut the inserts to the length you need. Slip them into the cover and slide onto the door. And close the door for a draft-proof seal. Door snakes need constant adjustment. What a pain! But Twin Draft Guard moves with the door. Twin Draft Guard seals almost any door gap on any floor. Wood, tile, linoleum. And it easily glides on carpet. It works on windows, too. The flexible double-sided arms block the airflow for an airtight seal. Use Twin Draft Guard on outside doors to block the cold winds and snow. Insulate garages and basements. Keep out fumes and noise. In hot weather, Twin Draft Guard seals in cool air to lower air conditioning bills. Adjustable Twin Draft Guard is only $19.99. Call now and we'll double the offer. You'll get two Twin Draft Guards for $19.99. It's guaranteed to lower your energy bills. If it doesn't pay for itself, the very first month, send it back for a refund. As a free gift, you'll receive the Chrome Finish 5 Prong over the door ceramic hook. No installation. Just slip it on any door for coats, accessories, and more. It's a $30 value free. Two twin draft guards and ceramic over the door hook, all just $19.99. Call now. Begin saving on your energy bills right now. Call 1 800 635 1451 or go to twindraftguard.com. You'll get two double sided twin draft guards and the free over the door hanger for $19.99. Call 1 800 635 1451 or go to twindraftguard.com. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Okay, Father Gill on the line, but one and one. Pretty good free throw shooter coming into tonight, 81% on 17 of 21. Gets a bonus. Well, he's going to be celebrating a birthday. His birthday is the day after Christmas. Rebound Foster, and he checked the fast uh -oh. break, Father Gill did. 53-48, five-point lead by Maryland with five minutes to go. Here's Holton hitting on the baseline. Holton open on the line, just drilled it in. 53-50, and we're back to the three-point lead. See, now UCLA is going to gamble more. Father Gill in close. Uh -oh. 55-50. Maryland back up by five points. Boy, they want to go inside of Darren Day. Oh, so got to. He's got position, too. But see, they're dropping off on the side. See how Coleman's dropping in? There goes Holton. Spun away. Maryland's got it. 
They're forcing Holton to take that shot outside. Even though he made the last one, they still gave it to him, and Coleman fell off and doubled up inside. Maryland really rebounding well out of the zone defense, allowing UCLA just one miss. UCLA shot much better here in the second half. Adkins needs help. Has to get it back deep to Fothergill. Fothergill's played a heady game. Oh, he has. He has. And that's probably why he started. That's why we said before the show, before the game, that it's Lefty's team and he knows his players. Adkins playing with a broken finger. Less than four minutes. To... Here goes Brantz. Brantz inside hits. Seven point lead, Maryland. 57 50 with 340 remaining. Now UCLA has got a hustle. Their win streak in jeopardy. Darren Day spins and hits for UCLA. Darren Day with his tremendous start this year, and UCLA kills the call. Oh, UCLA thought they had a timeout. They didn't. They didn't. Maryland they all the started ball. going to the bench, and Maryland came down. Look at the advantage they have. That's cut Coleman for the layup. Oh. oh, they made a mistake, and it cost them. UCLA gets timeout now. But it's two points later, and Maryland is back to a seven-point lead. Well, Jim, buckle on your seatbelt. <laughs> this is going to be something. My face takes enough abuse. That's why I use Gillette Fusion for my sensitive skin. Fusion has five blades with an anti-friction coating that flow comfortably. Fusion, proven performance even on sensitive skin. Try new Gillette Fusion Pure and Sensitive Shave Gel. It's dye and fragrance free. Don't like to settle? Now that any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10, you don't have to. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings is just $10. All your favorite pizzas, any way you want them, just $10. A large meat lover's pizza, $10. A large pan supreme, $10. Any toppings you want, just 10 bucks too. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings. So don't miss out. Get any Pizza Hut pizza today for just $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. <laughs> Transform drinks you want into cold medicine you need. Introducing Fast Crystal Packs, a new way from Alka-Seltzer Plus to get cold and flu relief in a taste-free, fizz-free powder. Alka-Seltzer Plus. Feeling free as a bird now. Violet, violet. Gonna see the whole world now. Try it, try it. Geico Power Sports. Insurance for your car and the other stuff that moves you. Once, during a difficult time in my life, my mom gave me some advice. That advice inspired my open hearts collection at K Jewelers, number one jewelry store in America. You were right, Mom. Keep your heart open and love will always find its way in. Every year, thousands of bodies are unidentified, but one team won't let them become the forgotten. My daughter was kidnapped. That's why I do what I do. Volunteer investigators who seek justice outside the law. Don't ever do that again. I can't promise that. ABC Tuesdays from producer Jerry Bruckheimer. This was someone's daughter. Who brought you CSI and Cold Case. This could get dangerous. ABC's The Forgotten. All new episodes return Tuesday, February 9th on ABC. Look at the advantage. They had a three to one advantage right down there because the UCLA players asked for a timeout. But Jim, they've changed that rule, as you know. Once the offensive player has that ball out of bounds, the defensive team cannot call a timeout now. He, wants <laughs> a, a, he has to be in signal for UCLA. <laughs> Even Santa passes up the Bruins. Well, let me tell you something, Jim. You know a rule I'd like to see in basketball? Sure. If you score a basket, you can't call timeout, period. 
I really don't like that timeout. Uh -huh. That's putting a rule to use, and uh, coaches save those timeouts for the last minute. I like to see them change that. You score, you really can't call a timeout. 59-52, seven-point lead Maryland. Three minutes, 12 seconds to go. Jackson, no shot. Darren Day can't penetrate. Beal's on him. He lost oh, the ball. Great defense. Great job by Veal. You knew they were going to stay in that zone and not give them anything inside and not a chance for a three-point play. Oh, that's oh, a bad, bad pass. pass. He had Veal wide open and Branch threw it away. Quite <laughs> lefty. Quite lefty. Oh. Gave it the old stop. Anyone but Adrian Branch, he may have gotten a little madder. 59-52. <laughs> They've got to get it up on the board. There goes Foster. Fake and you don't have to rebound those. Foster connects. Well, they points they have to start taking some chances now. They've got to start gambling. They've got to start taking some chances. 59-54. Beal clears it back out to Adkins. They're double teaming the ball. That leaves somebody no, they're, open. They're, they're jumping all over now and doubling up, up on there, everything. There goes Coleman for a stop. You leave a man open with a double team and it costs them. Yeah. And they were smart enough and disciplined enough to look for that man underneath. Jackson. Feeds on the inside. Block on the play, but there's a foul against Father Gill. That'll be his fourth. 61 54, Maryland. Now, let's take a look. Good extension right there by Jackson. Nice pass off. Fields goes up. Had to put it on the floor. He probably wishes he didn't have to do that, but he was too far away, and it gave Father Gill a chance. Watch, see, it gave Father Gill a chance to come back in from the backside. Well, this young man came out of that great high school program in Los Angeles, Burton Day. Gets the ball. Well, he gets two shots anyway. 61-55. UCLA is far from being out of this one. Two minutes and 14 seconds to go. Rebound oh. put up and in by Holton, tapped up again, it goes. Tap in by Darren Day. Now they get the timeout. UCLA outside. calls timeout. Well, it was a big tap in by Day, and suddenly UCLA is back within oh. four and a three-point play as it turns out. Boy, absolutely, Jim. That's one of the things that must... I'm glad I don't coach anymore because that's one of the things that would absolutely drive me to my grave, that inside man getting position. You see coaches generally try to teach where the first man and the third man in immediately squeeze that second person the the in that case the, the uh, defensive player but boy it just didn't work that time and that's a big basket because now they've got the timeout now they force Maryland to bring it in bounds from underneath their ba underneath the basket and now UCLA can go ahead and set up a defense a press I want to point out, watch and see if UCLA doesn't interfere here in keeping the ball away from Maryland after this basket okay. goes. Let's take a look. There's a nice, look at the extension on Darren Day. Isn't that marvelous? Nice tip in. Now let's see. I think now Day was see. just about to reach in and slap the ball, was he? Maryland player had uh -huh. the ball. UCLA slapped it out of his hand. Sure. They got timeout. Sure, because they're going to run out. Once he gets that ball and steps across that end line, then you cannot call that timeout, as we said before. But I'll tell you, Two minutes is like an eternity right now. Four-point lead by Maryland, 61-57. Why has Coleman played a game? Well, he's he's uh, he's really been dominating the whole game. And there it is. He put it on the floor, and there's no doubt about it. He huh? knew what he had going for him. High percentage shot. <laughs> I guess most of them he's had have been from about that range. You're right, Jim. I'm not sure he can shoot from the perimeter. You know what I'm thinking? That lefty Drizelle, when he came here, said, I'm going to make this the UCLA of the East, and that's stuck in his crawl. Uh -huh. I'm sure he's had to eat, uh, eat a lot of crow over that yeah. statement. And you think what this game might mean to him personally. Well, I know how much it means to him because when you are as great a competitor as lefty, every game means something to you, but especially this one. That was a gambling pass, but they get it inside to Adkins. There's the trap. Now Branch, double team. Oh. Coleman's open. Boy, that's a dangerous pass to make. Well, they try See, to they're set doubling up. on everybody right now. But they're leaving somebody open. It's up sure. to Maryland to find the open man. You uh, want to get rid of that ball as quickly as you can when you see the double coming at you right now. Of course, you can get burned, but you can also create a turnover. That's you it. take that chance. There it is. Good. Now, see, uh, that's, that's a good foul. Though. Foul is by Holton. They're going to put Father Gill on the line who missed his last time up. 
And now you have to be careful about the intentional foul, and that's what Lefty and everybody else wanted. But Houghton's got that experience, and he was sharp enough to come up from behind and not make it look like it was intentional. Everyone waited for the official to get over to the table, and he said, no, sir, one and one. Well, there's no way that was intentional. No, that's foul. right. 61-57. Boys, a crucial free throw here for Mark Fothergill. And he missed. Yep, he sure did. They tip it outside, but uh, Houghton's got it. Here comes... Uh, Foster now firing over Scott. Atkins and hitting. Boy, Foster now has really warmed up in the second half. 61-59. Again, Maryland leads by two. That's six straight points now by he's Foster. Ball knocked loose. Another turnover. Here goes Foster. Oh, that's an intentional foul. right there. Oh, he's foul by Atkins. Atkins fourth foul, and Foster, who's the all-time champion free throw in NCAA history, will go. Oh, line Larry for two. Farmer is really up. Look at look at look at Lefty saying something to Larry Farmer right now. This could tie the score with 50, with a minute 19 to go. Oh, watch this. Oh, man. He now, tried what, to that, catch him in a hole. He did. Exactly. You're right, Jim, and I'm glad you said that. And Foster's feet slipped out from under him at the same time. There's no way somebody of the caliber, well, I don't think anybody playing in this game would do something like that. Now, watch the feet slip as he goes to grab him. Now, watch the feet slip right out from under Rod Foster right there. Foster has scored the last six points for UCLA, has put them right back in this thing. Well, on his career, he's hitting almost 90%. He's in the 80s at UCLA. He led their free throwing every year. Two shots to Foster. All right, it's money in the bank. You can tie the score for the first time since early in the ball game. Well, now they, he makes this one. They put enormous pressure right now on Maryland because now people will become tentative because the shot is going to be so crucial. Well, will UCLA gamble as much with a score tied as no, they no. did behind? No, they won't gamble now. Well, it almost wasn't tied, but it is. They're going to keep the pressure on them. They aren't going to. Now we've got the timeout again right now. UCLA. Timeout, UCLA, one minute, 19 seconds to go. Tie score, 61-61. Ah, what a finish we're going to have here in College Park, Maryland. The executive producer of UCLA basketball is Leonard Klumpus. Coordinating producer is Paul Carlson. Tonight's game has been produced by Daryl Landrum and directed by Chuck Whitfield. Associate producer is Marsha Turner. Assistant directors are Allison Ban and Eddie Eckert. Production facilities supplied by NEP Productions. And I don't know about you, Jim, but I really enjoyed this game. Oh, gosh, this has been marvelous, and I'm really enjoying it now. Be curious to know what Lefty is going through on the Maryland bench right now. He's going to try to tell them whether he wants only a lay-in or only the high percentage shot, who's going to take that shot. The things they have to do, how many timeouts, for example, so you don't get caught with that five-second count, you know. Well, I think there's another uh, thing that Lefty's got to be thinking about before any of that is protecting the ball because UCLA has forced two crucial turnovers here in the last couple of minutes. That's why I always that's say, made the touch. right, read those passing lanes and don't give up your dribble because once you give up that dribble, they're going to trap you. Now, I asked Kevin O'Connor after the Notre Dame game, what do you tell your people in the huddle in a situation like this? He said, the last thing we want them to hear, the most important thing is the last thing we tell them. He said, everything else they tend to forget. What we want them to do when they walk away from there is the last thing we tell them not the first thing. Well, Farmer's going with his all-out pressure here against Maryland. Will not uh, give them a moment's rest. They got a little over a minute to go. Maryland's ball in a tie score. Maryland has 11 turnovers, and UCLA only has two. Herman Veal clears to Atkins with a minute five to go. Tie score. Maryland would like to hold it for one last shot and try to win the ball game or go to overtime. Now, UCLA will try to keep that ball out of Branch's hands, and they're going to double up on him whenever he tries to go to that basket. There's Coleman. Coleman wants to make a move. Branch cannot hold it. Loose ball, and Maryland's got bounds. it, but it's UCLA's ball. UCLA's ball. Jump ball will go to UCLA with 44 seconds to go. Well, Maryland went inside and maybe a little bit too early, but the opening was there. You really don't want to second-guess them. And now Maryland with five contrast goes back to the zone 
And they may allow UCLA to hold it down. Uh, Lefty's going to sit in the zone right now. Now, Farmer's telling him to hold the ball out, Jim, because the defense has to force the action when the score is tied. Maryland has to come out. They've got two people out. They have to bring two people out. Well, they're doing that. And now Maryland's going to a man for man. Right. They've come out of the zone. 20 seconds, 21 seconds to go. This is when you've got, now he wants a timeout right now. That's a good timeout. Timeout for UCLA. That's the fourth timeout they've used. They'll have one more, 18 seconds. They'll have to set up what could be the winning shot. Well, you have to go back to the DePaul game, the Notre Dame game, and the Iowa game where UCLA was in very close games down to the wire against good teams. How much does that experience mean? Well, it's... it's it's experience that you can't buy. I'll Wait tell a minute, you that. This, this, this is so interesting. The way Farmer comes out with Kevin O'Connor, Craig Eppelman, uh -huh. to huddle away from his team first. Has sort of a little board, you know, a chairman of the board meeting. That's right. And most coaches, I, I tell you, it's just something that's caught on. I don't know who started it, but it's something that's caught on. And you know why it's so good, Jim? I like it because that head coach is saying to his assistants, hey, what do you got to say? I'll make the final decision. The other thing is a minute is an awful long time to talk to players because their retention span doesn't seem to be that great. So they take about 15 seconds and say, here we go. All right, here's another look at why UCLA's defense has really made the difference in this game. Now watch the quick hands on UCLA. They're obviously going to drop right in. There it was right back there. I think it was number 14, Rod Foster. Or uh, uh, Michael Houghton that came in for the steal. Now we'll see what Maryland does defensively now against UCLA. UCLA's got one more timeout remaining. Maryland has one more, two more, three more remaining. They can throw it into the backcourt. That's just what they did. Now the clock is going. All right, now 15 seconds for okay. UCLA. Okay. Let's see if they go to Foster or Day. Take they, a shot at about, I'd uh, say, maybe four. Crash everyone to the board. There goes the Farmer on the inside. Rebound will come outside to Maryland. And we'll have overtime. There it is. It's good if it goes in. Almost went. Almost went it there, but it did not. And we'll have an overtime here in Maryland. Maryland and UCLA have finished regulation play. That's the end of the 40 minutes. We'll be back with the uh, overtime period of UCLA and Maryland tied at 61 after this. Master driver. His job is to measure what computers cannot. How a car moves you emotionally. Because that is the ultimate luxury. The newly redesigned Infinity G Coupe. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. Nobody really likes to travel that much for work. Five hour plane travel followed by a Maybe a hotel room. What things were you going to have to get done at home, you know, with your family? Followed by getting to the actual meeting. And there's, of course, you know, the, the time lost while you're gone. Put meetings in their place with GoToMeeting. With one click, GoToMeeting lets you hold online meetings from anywhere. Everyone in your meeting can give presentations and sales demos, edit documents, and collaborate in real time, whether on a PC or a Mac. Hold unlimited online meetings with integrated phone and VoIP conferencing for just $49 a month. You can see somebody's idea of moving something on the screen somewhere else, and yeah, that looks way better. It's less complicated than probably most of the activities you already do on your computer. I saved a day's worth of travel, probably $1,000 worth of expenses. With GoToMeeting, I actually made money. It's not only the time savings, it's what's possible now. It's one of those tools we can't live without. Try GoToMeeting free today. Visit GoToMeeting.com and use the promo code SPORT. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Surprise. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. I love it! Really? You made me feel all warm and fuzzy. So you're happy? 
Come to 1-800-Flowers and get free shipping or no service charge on roses starting at $29.99. 1-800-Flowers. The official flowers of Valentine's Day the movie. Fight Science is back, putting super soldiers to the test. We challenge a sniper to shoot in between heartbeats while buried in ice. We push a fighter pilot to the point of no return, and we submerge a Navy SEAL in a 75-pound vest just to see how long he can last. Don't underestimate the dangers involved here. This is a test, nothing worth dying for. Fight Science Ultimate Soldiers, Thursday at 9, only on Nat Geo. Channel 276. Well, we're back to start the overtime period. Now, let's watch here the end. The wow. shot that almost won it from That Maryland. doesn't surprise me because that young man made the exact move against Notre Dame in their one-point game at South Bend, a fingertip roll, it, and it went in, and they won. Had watch that gone, this. Maryland would have won. Oh, gosh, that's unbelievable because I looked at the clock, and there was one second, one tick left when the young man let that ball go. Now we've got an overtime. Five minutes, each team is allowed one more timeout. It's an extension of the second half, so UCLA will continue to go to the same basket as will Maryland. And it's the only time you'll have a second center jump in a ball game. Right. You notice Stuart overtime. Gray hasn't been in for, what, 10 minutes or so, right, Jim? No, they're going with a smaller, quicker lineup. Right. Branch. Branch goes on the inside, and he is. Maryland breaks the tie. UCLA was able to tie, but they were not able to get the lead yet. Still in the first minute of the overtime period, 63-61 Maryland. Maryland stays with a zone after getting the lead. That was a big basket. That's the 3-2 zone that they've been sitting in all night. They Father Gill and Veal are in the back to try to take care of the rebounding. Uh, UCLA might look a little wild here before taking a long shot. They're trailing by two in overtime. Get it into Fields. Now Jackson. Oh, Darren Day made a great fake. Here oh. Day takes the shot. Rebound comes out to Holton. Holton underneath. Blocked and foul. Fouls on Coleman. See, they've got such great leapers. You know, Day takes that, and you figure, boy, we got to get into Fields' body, and we got to get into somebody else's body. Watch the position right on the right-hand side of the screen. Watch Holton now. Well, look, Maryland had a perfect box out on the rebound. Perfect triangle right underneath there, and it didn't do him a bit of good. Branch came over, and he got him. Now Holton on the line. Needs both uh, shots to tie the score. 63-62. This guy was the key to the championship in 1980. He and Rod Foster, the first freshman guard pair ever to start a championship game in the NCAA history. We have four Maryland players right now, as you know, Jim, who have a lot of experience that are playing right now. Father Gill, Atkins. Branch and Veal. Those are people that have a lot of experience. Well, they played a great deal last year. Now, here's the. Got to hurry. Wants a timeout. Oh, he gets it. He got it. Well, that was a smart call. Ah, by Atkins. He's got eight seconds to get that timeout. There's no five second count in that front court. People say, my gosh, that's a five second count. There's well, none in the front. Exactly. You have 10 seconds to get the ball up court, and you can use it all. So, with the score tied, 63 all in overtime, let's pause for these messages. On a pepperoni. That was delivered fast. It's not delivery, and we'd like it back. You've reached Greg and Doug. That's not yours. If you leave your name and number, the pizza back, please. Beep. New DiGiorno Ultimate Toppings Pepperoni with 50% more pepperoni. Taste, believe it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Believe this, you can go to Vegas with me. Enter through Facebook for a chance to win a fantasy football draft party hosted by Jerome Bettis and DiGiorno. May I help you? Yes, uh, I hear Progressive has lots of discounts on car insurance. Can I get in on that? Are you a safe driver? Yes. Discount. Do you own a home? Yes. Discount. Are you going to buy online? Yes. Discount. <laughs> Isn't getting discounts great? Yes. There's no discount for agreeing with me. Yeah, I got carried away. It happens to me all the time. Helping you save money. Now that's Progressive. Call or click today. IRS problems? Associated Tax Relief can help you. What you're about to see and hear is real. Associated Tax Relief got me a settlement of $500. This company really does what they say they're going to do. We owed the IRS over $135,000. All we did was hire the right people to work for us. 
Associated Tax saved us $99,000. Associated Tax Relief has helped taxpayers settle their tax debt for less than what they owed. We owe the IRS over $82,000 in back taxes. Associated Tax Relief's attorney was a former IRS agent who knew what to do. His hard work settled our tax debt for only $4,600. Thousands of taxpayers across the nation have put their trust in Associated Tax Relief. I owe nearly $115,000 and needed help fast. Associated Tax settled my tax debt for way less than what I owed. They saved me over $93,000. Yes, you can solve your IRS problems, and yes, we can help you. For a free consultation, call 888-775-9482 now. Super Bowl coverage on ESPN. It's all about team when you get ready for Super Bowl week. And nobody will get you ready better than our team. All week, Sports Center is live from South Florida for Fun in the Sun, along with the crew from NFL Live. Then, Super Bowl Sunday kicks off at 10 with four hours of Sunday NFL countdown. That in itself is amazing. After the game, we'll break it down on NFL Primetime. It was a great team effort. ESPN, your home for complete Super Bowl coverage all week long. Well, it's almost like the old days here at the Cold Field House. Maryland taking nationally ranked UCLA right down the wire. Not necessarily have they done that before, but they've had great teams here. Lefty Grizzell, 463 victories in his uh, 22 years coming into this year, and he's added four more for 467. There's Larry Farmer, disciple of John Wooden, has UCLA cranked up. UCLA is going to guard a man for man coming out of bounds. They've got Kenny Field standing back goal tending right back here. They're not about to get hit with the long pass. They get a set of screen and uh, shake uh, Branch clear. Being guarded by Jackson. Let's see if they try to double team Branch. Right now they're in a straight man for man. Coleman on a very high post. Gives them a very safe outlook pass. Playing two on two now with Branch and Coleman right in front of us. 14,500. They've all stayed here for this one. Oh, a little danger. Oh, that Rod oh, Foster. That's dangerous. Uh, he's like a mongoose. Boy, you got to keep your dribble, keep your head up, watch the passing lanes. You know, these players oh, have yeah. played oh. about the last uh, 30 minutes of really dramatic pressure. That's, a, that's precisely right, and I admire them for it, too. I'll tell you that. It's been a honey of a game. But Jackson's playing with four fouls, has Branch, and Branch really giving him work. Now, once he pick up that dribble, of course, UCLA really applies the pressure. This is a long time to hold on to that ball without turning it over. It really is. I don't care how disciplined you are when you're playing a club like UCLA because they're so quick and have such great hands. You know, interesting question that might come out of this game looking for help. Now, five second count was on there. See how they doubled up on Branch right there? Jackson came over to help out. Oh, you see how he's so disciplined on oh, their defense, yes. aren't they? Look at every pass is critical now. Interesting question that will come out of this. Will Maryland, whether they win or lose <laughs> here, they've been successful. Will they go back to this type of attack? Of course, in the ACC, Jim, they got a 30 second shot clock. Right. They couldn't play this game without. No, that's right. And you talked about that before this very game. You wonder that uh, Atkins and Branch must almost be near exhaustion, but so perhaps are Jackson and the long one by Branch. Oh my Hits. God! Oh, what a shot! I can't believe he took that shot after all that time. 65-63, 1:45 to go in the overtime. Well, that puts the pressure on UCLA, I'll tell you. But I, that what a what a pressure shot that was, and it was in from the time it left his hands. They're going to sit in that zone with the hands up right now. Fields and Day are both posting down low. Boy, Foster wants to go inside with Brant. Well, they're playing a little. Well, they are playing a little man-to-man -man in the little zone. They're matching up a bit right now. See, they're chasing yep. Foster all the way through, but the rest of them are playing. That's what they wanted right there. There goes Day. It's off the mark. Rebound will be Maryland's. Father Gill taken away by Fields for a layup. Oh, what a big steal by Kenny Fields. Boy, they just triple teamed him the second he got the ball in his hands. One minute to go in the overtime. Score tied. Maryland's ball. This is right back where we were in regulation. And Maryland turned it over, you remember. UCLA had a chance to win it and couldn't. Well, they've got, uh, are you guessing, Branch? Well, Maryland's got three timeouts remaining. Going to use one right here. 
45 seconds to go in overtime. Maryland stops the clock. We're still tied. UCLA 65, Maryland 65. And we'll be back with more of the Bruins and the Terrapins after these messages. Many will hear the calling. Move it! Yes, sir! Few will earn the title United States Marine. The few, the proud Marines. If you're looking for the love of your life, you could try your luck on dating sites. Or you could graduate to eHarmony. eHarmony isn't a dating site. It's a relationship site. We go beyond the pictures and paragraphs to match you on the deepest dimensions of compatibility, like intellect and values, things proven to be the foundation of successful long-term relationships. If you want love, don't settle for a dating site. Go to eHarmony.com. Get started today and review all your compatible matches for free. Extreme power of Energizer Ultimate Lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and high tech devices. Energizer, keep going. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $50,000 in taxes, but listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $8,400. What a great message. I owe $13,000 on my taxes, but now. Congratulations, you only owe $3,048. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you're already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $28,000. But check out what we actually pay. Are you sitting down? You only owe $5,772. Call toll-free 888-917-8151 or go to tax10,000.com, 888-917-8151. ESPN, your NBA destination. Tomorrow, Dwayne Wade looks to prove the heat belong among the East's elite. Oh, Dwayne Wade! As they battle KG and the division-leading Celtics. Then, the Suns try to get back on track as they take on Carmelo Anthony and the surging Nuggets. Beautiful teamwork for the Nuggets. NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Heat Celtics and Suns Nuggets. Coverage begins tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern. Well, it was a long shot that Branson gave Merrill the lead, but this might turn out to be the play of the game. They wanted to get it in the hands of Fields. Now watch, he's got the ball right there. Now he turned to the basket, and once he turned his back, that's when he lost his vision on the UCLA players, and they just put the clamps on him. Holton and Fields did it 45 seconds ago. Maryland possession of the ball. UCLA's lining wicked. up in an eye right here, Jim. Yep, UCLA with that. Ooh. Terrific defense. Now Pete Holbert is in. He's a great outside shooter. Yep. Holbert might be in for the end of the game in case he's needed. 35 seconds remaining. He's also a good free throw shooter. He's only shot six, but he's hit five of them. So that's a good move by Lefty and his staff. I don't think UCLA is going to intentionally foul anyone. Oh, great no. pride uh -huh. in the defense. Nope. I'll tell you when that last shot is taken. 20 so seconds. You watch the you watch five shirts crash that offensive board. Got to hurt. Timeout. Oh, timeout. he's got. They call timeout. Oh, okay. Timeout was called by Atkins. Uh, Maryland will still have one timeout left, and the clock shows 11 seconds to go. So twice Atkins in trouble has gone the timeout call, and Maryland now will try to come back with 11 seconds to go against the UCLA defense. That's going to be a great challenge. And I'm just going to sit back and love it. Well, I, I've got to assume that Adrian <laughs> Branch is going to shoot that basketball. If it's not Adrian, I have to assume it's going to be Ben Coleman, but that would be a case of getting the ball inside to him. Well, it's Brant, easier with Branch working one-on-one. -on -one. Jim, he took the last shot against Virginia oh, last year and beat he? them. Uh -huh. A big upset when Virginia was ranked number one. And uh, he's been in that position before. He likes uh, You saw the confidence he had a moment ago. He took a, what would have been an easy three-point shot. Right. 
in all the leagues that use the three point uh, arc. And he switched it with uh, about a little under two minutes to go. Well, don't have to remind you that Maryland has never beaten UCLA. I'm sure you don't have to remind Lefty Drizel. See, now both coaches have to do two different things here, as you know, Jim. Lefty not only has to talk about the last shot, but they have to talk about what's going to happen with after after the shot and Larry Farmer not only has to coach from a defensive standpoint right now but he has to coach offensively exactly right last game right there as we said 90 to 57 last year UCLA has made it very tough for Maryland to get the ball inbounds he can go in the back court. Oh boy, right. almost threw it away. Oh there it is and that's good now because Branch has more room to work Branch oh. takes the shot Rebound by UCLA, knocked loose, foul. and a foul on Holbert. With two seconds to go, oh. Pete Holbert on a reach-in foul. UCLA might win it at the free throw line. Boy, Branch got the shot off maybe a couple of seconds early, almost made it. UCLA came up for rebound, dropped it, and on the fight for the loose ball, Holbert foul Boy. fields, who is five for six. I'm surprised he got that good a crack at the basket. I think that was Michael Holton guarding him. Did a marvelous job on him. Watch the rebound right there. There's the reach in. You call it. Okay, jump uh, two free throws. A lot of pressure now here on Kenny Fields, <laughs> a junior forward from Los Angeles. Lefty just told him if he makes the first one, he wants them to get a timeout after he's made up. He's okay. got it before he even takes the first one. He's going to use it here with two seconds to go. Well, now Maryland's used all its timeout. Oh, no, calls. See. They have none left. Be a one and one situation, which carries over into overtime. Oh, well, Fields has to hit, so if Fields should miss the first one and leave the score tied, Maryland rebound, there'd be precious little time to get back down floor. On the other hand, UCLA might have time to follow. I think Lefty was unhappy, Jim. I watched him when, when they came over to the bench, and I did I do still think he wanted them to wait until after the first one because if he misses and they get the rebound, they still have the timeout left. Now they don't. That's right. The other thing I was going to talk about was after that missed shot, you'll have a lot of fans that like to become coaches and start analyzing as to whether if there's four or five seconds left on the clock, whether teams that get that rebound should call a timeout. Some coaches believe you should because they, they then want to set up whatever it is they have to set up. Others don't like to do that. They want to play against a scrambling defense. Take your players and run them down that court and hope that the defensive team will make a mistake. They feel if you call a timeout, now you let them set up a defense when you're inbounding the ball. But it would seem now that everything on this game rides on the free throwing here of Kenny Fields. Great forward for UCLA. Born in Iowa City. But he made his name at uh, Los Angeles, Burdum Day first, and now UCLA. Once scored 52 points in a high school game. What does he tonight? have at the line tonight, Jim? 19 points. He's at five out of six. Well, he's 70 percent on the year. Maryland's got it, and we'll go to two overtimes. Well, uh, Mr. Gibbons, how about these apples, huh? Did I say something about a double overtime? Is this a holiday spirit or isn't it? There's the Santa Claus red. This guy's is Maryland red. The fans are loving it, and we'll be back for overtime number two with a score, UCLA 65, Maryland 65. Let's pause for these messages. I'm a broke college student. Doesn't mean I have to eat like one. Right now, any pizza from Pizza Hut is just $10. Any size, any crust, any toppings. So we can get a Supreme Pan pizza or meat lovers. Anyone we want for just 10 bucks. Now, I don't have to ask my parents for money all the time. So do you need extra money this week? I'm good. You get yourself something nice. That freaked him out. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings, only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. Get your career cooking. Literally. With LaCordon Blue Training. You could train as a culinary professional and work at restaurants, resorts, bakeries, catering companies, and more. Call now for a career guide. Free. 
Call a Le Cordon Bleu School at 800-713-6094. That's 800-713-6094. Call now. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. They walk among us. Those who would steal your very identity. You must learn to defend yourself at Zendo.com. Better and Greenies Better Pizza is not a slogan. It is a way of life. Papa's in the house. It's first and ten at Papa John's. And as an official sponsor of Super Bowl 44, for the first time ever, you get all large pizzas for just $10. Your choice of toppings, your choice of pizzas, $10. Even specialty pizzas like the Works, the Meats, and the Six Cheese, just $10. It's first and ten. Order now at PapaJohns.com. Better and Greenies Better Pizza, Papa John's. Can you control them? The shifting, changing interest rates that can devour what you're worth? Master your financial realm at Zendo.com. We start again, jump center for the second overtime period. Coleman got the tip to start the first overtime, and he does it again. Back to Maryland control, Jeff Atkins. Now, UCL, uh, Maryland has one more timeout now. Here goes Branch, banking on the inside, will not drop, but Father Gills to follow. Well, I thought they were going to start this one the way they did the last time, because Branch scored immediately after the jump last time, but he missed that one. Maryland takes the lead as it did in the opening for us overtime, 67-65. 30 seconds gone by in the overtime, second overtime. Fans are in a staccato applause and chant defense. The UCLA isn't doing very much moving against that zone at all, Jim. And so consequently, it's easier on the defensive player. There goes Foster driving, hitting. Oh. What a second half Rod Foster's played. 18 points on the game, 14 of them in the second half. Score tied again, 67. Yeah, their last seven points Foster has right now. There goes Brands, and he's blocked and fouled by Foster. That's three fouls on Rod Foster. Cannot stay with 6'8 Adrian Branch. And Branch is back on the pressure spot again. Missed his last free throw attempt. Has five for seven. Now, see, Foster was up. Now, watch the switch right there. See the switch? Right there. Great switch. Foster thought he had pretty good position, but I don't think he was squared up enough. It was pretty close. Right, still but moving. I thought he was still moving, and I think it's a good call. All right, big free throw by Branch. I'll tell you, you want to watch one-on-one -on -one basketball. This young man has really put on a clinic tonight. They've put that ball in his hands an awful lot of this game. Second one. 69-67. 352 to go. Second overtime period. Maryland leads by two. Darren Day outside misses. Rebound Father Gill, and he's fouled on the play by Foster. That's four fouls on Rod Foster. See, you can credit that to Herman Beal because Darren Day was set, had perfect position to take that jumper, and Beal came out and threw his timing off. If we can catch it, watch, he's going to go up. Oh, I thought he went up on more of an angle than he did, but he really got thrown off when Beal came out and stuck the hand in his face. And I thought Foster did foul right there. Not a good foul for, for Rod right there. Well, Father Gale's really fighting some pressure here, I'm sure. He missed his last two free throws on one and ones. He's up there again. Pretty crucial one there, wouldn't you say? Yep, and he watched. He didn't take much time to think about it. That referee handed him the ball, and he got that thing right up on the glass. He didn't take much time at all. Young guy out of Kentucky, Somerset, Kentucky. Got them both. Maryland by four, second overtime, 3.40 to go. This has been a tense struggle throughout. Boy, they had they open inside. They've got to get that ball into him. 
Jackson walks. Traveling by Jackson, he knew it. And it turns it over to Maryland. Maryland gets the ball with a four-point lead, three and a half minutes to go, overtime number two. Well, this may qualify as the most exciting game in the country so far this well, year. I'd have to say this is the biggest possession of the game right now. It depends on how much time Maryland can burn off the clock right now without giving the ball up. Also, what they get out of it. And what they, they get out points. of it right now. Don't force it, Adrian. Boy, Adrian Branch being challenged down to Coleman. No. Coleman inside, and he charges. Yeah, Boy, that was a costly mistake for Maryland. Coleman thought he had an opening, and UCLA's defense came to its rescue again. You're right, Jim. When you've got a four-point lead and UCLA has two big leapers down inside, you don't need that basket. Lefty just went down and pulled his entire coaching staff, and they all voted, no, he should have done it. Too late. Three minutes to go. Maryland's leading by four. UCLA's are critical possessions for UCLA. Stolen. Boy, Jackson gets it back. Day down the middle. Nice pass. Off to Holton. Loose ball picked up by Maryland. And a foul on the play against Holton. And that is five fouls on Michael Holton. So Holton will become the first player to foul out of the ball game. Eight points. He leaves with 2.41 to go. Second overtime. Boy, not only was that a great pass, but I do want to say something about Maryland's defense because did they ever react? instantly when that passes we can catch that watch the great pass he didn't even look at watch the three players from Maryland right there boy that was really a great reaction to the ball now you saw and I saw Herman DeVille was fouled uh, they put Adrian Branch on the free throw line and UCLA I don't think we're going to let him get away with that no, I missed that but that's a good call Jim because Herman Veal is going to move up there right now there's Michael Holton you saw a moment ago he's fouled out of the game and Nigel Miguel, sophomore, Californian, comes in replacing him. Well, that's their smallest club that they've got on the floor, but that's what they need right now because they need people with even more quickness than they already have because they've got to extend it right now. Boy, it's a big free throw for Harmon Veal. Really is. And a good free throw shooter. Rebound, oh. UCLA. Boy, I thought Coleman was going to foul, didn't you? Yep, Coleman is carrying three fouls, too. 2.35 to go. Maryland by four. Ball one by Rod Foster. That'll come off. Rebound by Beal. He's fouled again. This time by Miguel. Well, UCLA keeps stopping the clock with personal fouls. It worked a moment ago because Beal did not hit. Yep, it's a, it's, I guess with the kind of shots they've been getting tonight, I don't like it, Jim, but... You know, he's hit some of those, so it seems like a second guess on my part, but you don't have much rebounding. If you don't make it, you're only playing a one-shot game, and right now UCLA can't afford that. Well, UCLA is going to call a timeout. Now, remember, where Maryland had used up its timeouts the first overtime, they do have one more here, which they have not used. So it's 67 UCLA, 71 Maryland, and we'll have more UCLA Maryland basketball from Cole Fieldhouse College Park after these messages. What's a 13 letter phrase for marriage proposal? I have absolutely no idea. He went to Jared. He went to Jared. <laughs> if you want to create your own one of a kind ring, get to Jared this Thursday through Sunday because you can receive Get Set in Diamonds rewards up to $1,000 toward a beautiful diamond setting when you buy your diamond at Jared. Choose from thousands of diamonds and hundreds of settings. Get up to a $1,000 reward this Thursday through Sunday at Jared, the Galleria of Jewelry. It begins with a brushstroke, a simple yet powerful line, uniting engineering and emotion, connecting driver to road, separating Infinity from every other luxury car in the world. The newly redesigned Infinity G sedan. This is inspired performance. This is the way of Infinity. 
place. Welcome to the Trump Dome. Uh, this is just your office. Cool it, Johnny. Touchdown. Ready! Gentlemen, you're about to lose to the smartest. Set. Most classy. Play. Highest quality. Handsomest DSRL champions ever. In fact, soon the Trump Organization will acquire the Manning name and turn it into a luxury. Done. Done. Winner! Taste it, Trump. How's that feel, Donnie? You're fired. You're fired. Nice suit. You're a dashing man. I know it. Own a timeshare? Turn it into cash. No more mortgage payments. Thank you, timeshares only. At timeshares only, you'll find properties from the biggest names in the industry. If you want to buy, sell, or rent, call now. Call timeshares only and get your free information kit with our insider secrets to buying, selling, and renting timeshares, plus receive a free $100 gift card. Over $5 billion sold in the past six months proves now can be the best time to sell. Call 800-366-1674. That's 800-366-1674. Call 800-366-1674 now. Everyone always asks me what it's like in the suit. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's smelly. It's heavy. Saturday, number two Villanova battles eighth-ranked Georgetown, then Duke Boston College. ESPN College Basketball presented by Five Hour Energy. Herman Veal, critical free throw at the line. He missed a moment ago on the front end of a one and one. Now 2.27 to go and his team leading by four, second overtime. Gets the bonus. You know, last year, Jim, you were a coach. They named this guy the most unselfish player award. Don't coaches like to see that in a player? Yeah, absolutely. I'm bonus. happy for him. Oh. Rebound is by Coleman. He clears it outside. Maryland gets the ball with a five-point lead. Branch spots Atkins being double teamed. Uh, now UCLA really turned timeout. Maryland has to use its timeout. 2.15 to go. Atkins with a five-point lead did not want to give up the basketball, and that's exactly what might have happened. I'm sure Lefty wanted to hold on that timeout, but a five-point lead looks pretty good. That's right, and Larry Farmer and, and Kevin O'Connor immediately went to the official and said, what was your count? Because they were waiting for the five-second count right here. Well, they, once, once it gets to four, want. it's too late. That's right. 80% of the count, and that's why when they were coming up the court earlier, the one you said, they've got eight seconds to get it up to the 10 second. 80% of the count, in that case, it would have been four, but he didn't have that four count, and he gave them the timeout, their last one. Well, it's five-point lead for Maryland. There's the free throw that did it, and now here comes the bonus. Big rebound by Cole. Boy, that is right there. That really hurts from UCLA standpoint, but a great rebound. And that's ten rebounds by Coleman in this game. He has really played a dynamite game. You know, every time Joe Forty has a game, we have one like this. <laughs> I was going to ask you earlier, and it slipped my mind, seriously, you have done an incredible number of basketball games, Jim. What's the most overtime you've had, really, do you recall? I don't think I've ever gone over three. Really? No. What are we, two? Two right now. All Getting the games close. you've done, I would imagine that you had probably had one with four or five somewhere I along I the line. I can't remember. Can I ask you another More one? Than, yep. You recall the best game you've ever seen in Cole Fieldhouse right here? Well... I can tell you the best game I ever saw in Maryland. That's when they played North Carolina State for the 1974 ACC Championship. Greatest basketball game of all time. I've seen some good games here, but this may be the best one ever. Uh, now, if you say that, then I know I've seen a pretty good basketball game. I've seen better Maryland teams. There's Adrian Branch's father. <laughs> you think he is? He ought to have a smile on his face at this point. You think maybe he's got some uh, <laughs> damp palms? Oh, oh, what a catch by Coleman. Boy, they're moving it well now. Now you got to get rid of it as fast as you can before the trap's up. There it is. There's Father Gill for a layup. 
They sprung the open man. Maryland by seven points, two minutes to go, second overtime. Now UCLA has to hurry. Here comes Darren Day on the inside, and he's fouled by Branch. Boy, Branch almost got a great block on him there. 151 remaining. Lefty Drizel can just taste his first victory ever I over wish UCLA. we would have had a camera on Lefty because he's been shaking his fist at the UCLA bench for the last 15 seconds. Larry Farmer turned his back on him. Kevin O'Connor just turned and looked at him and kind of smiled. Lefty just went and really, he just really got wound up. Two shots to Darren Day. Boy, UCLA has really played well under the pressure. Remember, they were down by 11 points in the second half, fought back to tie it, almost won it in regulation, almost uh, had, a had a chance to win at the free throw line in the first overtime, and Kenny Fields, a clutch player, missed. But Darren Day does not. He gets them both. 74-69. Branch in trouble. Spots Father Gill. They got to hurry over the line. And there it goes. Oh, it's intercepted by Jackson. UCLA still got a chance. They're down by five. Long one by Rod Foster. Rebound ripped off by Coleman. And Coleman is fouled. Rod Foster's fifth or fourth foul. And Coleman now will come down to the one and one. And there's still a lot of time to go. Oh. 132. That's why I say you can't afford to be shaking a fist at anybody when there's a minute and 32 seconds to go and UCLA is involved in the game. Boy, you think coaches don't earn their money in these? There it is. Boy, I thought it was going in when he let when he let it go. Just right. Who made the foul? There, it was uh, Rod Foster right Rod, there. I mean, the reach, uh, got oh, the there it is right there. Yeah, four, four fouls on Foster. I was, I was looking at Miguel, Miguel, and I thought he was really going to get the rebound. Another big miss by Maryland on the front end. Gives UCLA a new life. Darren Day off the fast break, and Day hits. Boy, Day continues to play under pressure. There's a foul on Day on uh, Foster. Nope, they got to call it on Miguel. That's only two on Miguel. Had it been Foster, they were out there. Could have been his fifth. Boy, and that was pretty close because Adrian stopped his dribble right in front of the UCLA bench, and boy, he went to turn with his back to the play, and that's when they almost put the trap on it and stole it right out of his hands. Boy, they're squeezing play out of these moments, aren't they? There's still on, one on. minute, 20 <laughs> seconds to go. One and one to Branch. Bonus coming for Branch. Branch now has hit eight out of 10. Yep, he was 80 percent coming in. Uh, he can tie his season's high right here. 27. He's got 26 points. He and Coleman. What a pair. Coleman rebounds. Boy, Branch and Coleman are doing it for Maryland. He went Field right clears up. outside to Atkins. There's Atkins tripped and fouled by Darren Day. Two fouls on Day. They'll put Jeff Atkins at the line. You could see Atkins grimace when he caught that ball with a broken finger. Right. I was glad that you said that because that's precisely what I was going to say. He must have caught that pass right on the bad uh, finger right there. Watch this again. Watch Kenny Fields has the inside position. Watch now. He got himself trapped too far under that basket. That yep. ball came out, and Coleman just bodied him and then turned around and got the rebound. Well, Coleman made a smart play. Atkins hits the front end. He gets the bonus. <laughs> Maryland back up by five, 75 71. Lefty screaming, no fouls, no fouls. One minute, 11 seconds. Could be an eternity. Two by Atkins, 77 71. Six point lead. Rod Foster lets it go, no, gets it over. Here goes Kenny Fields, and he hits. Field scores. Boy, UCLA is relentless. And now they foul Father Gill in backcourt. And that will be Darren Day's third personal foul. That's a gamble that I, I still think you have to take at this stage. It's going to boil down to whether Maryland hit can the free throws. hit the free throws. And there's no, they're going against the clock right now. And they just have to take that kind of a gamble. You can't let them set up down over that 10 second line because then they're really going to set up and burn a lot too much time off that clock. Brant's 8 for 11, missed his last time up. Now it's going to be Father Gill. Father Gill, who hit his last two, is five, 3 for 5. Boy, since he missed those two back in the second half, he's really shot with confidence. 
I see Darren Day is talking to Lenny Wirtz about Coleman squeezing him on the uh, on the rebound. I'll try to watch it as they go up this time. Oh. Five point lead, one minute to go. Rod Foster, Brad Foster pulls up, and the rebound is taken by UCLA, and there goes Fields inside. Tips. Boy, Fields will not give up for UCLA. Watch the trap. 43 seconds to go. Maryland leads by three. They get it over the line to Veal. They got to watch for Coleman getting free underneath. There goes Atkins, gets it to Coleman for the dunk shot. And he's fouled on the play. Foul by Miguel. But he missed the shot. That could be a big factor. Oh, that's right. That might have been the icing on the cake had he made that, but he just got this he got distracted. Nice pass right here. Look at he drew the defensive man, but he got distracted just enough right there. And he held on to that rim, but that's okay. If you have to do it to protect yourself, you can do that. All right, UCLA is going to call for timeout. UCLA, timeout. UCLA stops the clock. 30 seconds to go. Second overtime. Maryland with a three-point lead. We'll come back. It'll be Coleman at the line to shoot two. And I'm sure Farmer wanted him to give this a proper thought. Boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you. I am, I am really enjoying this. Uh, I don't believe much in that call and timeouts the way most commentators say about icing free throw shooters because that doesn't do much for me but you know I think it's more a case of calling a timeout right now to set up an awful lot of strategy which is more involved than worrying about icing a free throw free throw shooter because Maryland has been shooting so well not only during regulation time but also in the two overtime periods and boy we've said it before Jim there is such enormous pressure on these youngsters and that's why I give them an awful lot of credit. Well, look at John Clockery. He and Lenny Wirtz, Joe Forte. They've had a full evening's work, oh, too, they haven't have. they? Yep, they've got the 40 plus 10, 50 minutes right now. You know, Jim, the toughest job here may be picking a most valuable player because you look at Darren Day and Rod Foster for UCLA. You look at Adrian Branch of University of Maryland. But I tell you, and I think you'll agree with me, my vote is going to go to this big guy right here, Ben Coleman. Yeah, I, I don't think... Yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you because he carried this team and dominated this game in the first half, and he absolutely forced UCLA to change it, to change its strategy. Now, people are going to say Adrian Branch has controlled the basketball and everything, but I think Coleman has played the best game. Uh, well, obviously, he's a youngster and a transfer student, but he's played a marvelous uh, 50 minutes right now. Okay, a most valuable player of the game right there. Well, no matter who wins, Ben Coleman, University of Maryland. He's got 26 points, and he's played a superb game on the boards. Gets two. 30 seconds to go. That's a big miss for UCLA now, Jim, because if he makes this, they're at 79, and that means two more possessions for UCLA instead of three. And he gets it up to four. 79-75, UCLA can tie with two possessions. Jackson in traffic. And there's uh, Miguel has it knocked away by Father Gill. Oh, what a saving defensive play by Father Gill. See, what's happening is Maryland is trying to be so careful not to foul that they're not doing a good job underneath that offensive board. Here goes Kenny Fields, and he has not missed under the pressure yet. Boy, Fields. Oh, an interception. There goes Foster missing. Rebound Herman Veal, and Veal is fouled underneath. So Veal's going to be out of the... Hot seat with 11 seconds to go. Boy, Rod Foster just didn't realize, Jim, that he had as much time left as he did. There were about 12 or 13 seconds, and he really hurried a bad shot up and threw a brick up an air ball, and he knew it as soon as he did it. He was really mad at himself. There was no one in position to rebound. They had to do the next best thing again, and that was to foul. All right, no timeout for Maryland. They have been the left. And Veal back. He has hit only one out of three at the line for one and one. Lefty's going to get everybody back now. Bonus coming for Veal. Three-point lead for Maryland. 11 seconds to go. Father Gill just told Coleman, don't you foul if he misses. Don't climb somebody's back. Oh, and he almost, almost did. did. Oh, he almost did. 
Here we come to UCLA. They may lay, there's Foster driving. He's got it. Foster scores with two seconds, one second, and it is over. Maryland wins in two overtimes. Maryland, UCLA had no timeout to call. They've used them all. And so after two overtimes and years of frustration for Lefty Brazil, Maryland finally has beaten UCLA. And there's a happy man in the coaching business for 23 years now and came here with a resounding boast that he would make Maryland the UCLA of the East. And it's taken him now about 13 years to get the first victory over the Bruins. Larry Farmer. Tonight on Cheap Seats. I think the only things you need to get into this competition are a goatee, a gun, and a healthy dose of simmering rage. Are they shooting PlayStation icons? No, they're taking an IQ test. She's on fire right now. She's going to nail that target. Ah, jeez. Wow. Off the wall, behind the back, into the red ring, nothing but clay. High five, old man. Hey, welcome to Cheap Seats, the show that stubbornly yet unapologetically refuses to privatize Medicare and makes fun of old weird sporting events. Our show today will explore what happens when you take weapons of minor destruction and create sports around them. That's right, it's the very first great outdoor game from the year 2000. We got chainsaws, rifles, and axes. Three things the feds would probably find if they raided Tom Selleck's compound. Well, that and about 50 clip-on mustaches, but that's another story. Today, it's all about good, clean fun. Now, here's what to look for. Here's what to look for. Here's what to look for. Keep an eye out for the goatee to competitor ratio. It's almost one to one, and that includes the women's and the kids' events. Also watch for the complete disregard for safety when it comes to the weather. Now, I can understand outdoor purists wanting to play through the rain, sleet, or snow. However, these people are firing loaded weapons near the fans. No one's going to get upset if you bring out the tarp or at least retract the dome. All right, in the immortal words of Michael Moore, you can pry this remote from my cool dead hands. It's the great outdoor games, people, from Lake Placid. Pull! Darts? No, it's the Silhouette Olympics. Sounds like the 90210 guitarist is still getting some work. Was that a Puma? Silhouetted. Welcome back to lovely Lake This is probably the biggest sporting event to ever hit Lake Placid. Do you believe in rednecks? Yes! For the call, we join Bill Clement and Sherry Legate. Nice shot, Shadow Man. The Green Monster? Many of the best shooters in the world are here to compete. and they Good, go because it's not like we need them in Iraq or anything. Each shooter will have a bank of ten targets. These targets are different. Are they shooting PlayStation icons? No, they're taking an IQ test. Ten of their targets in the bank of targets before they begin on the dueling tree. The dueling tree. I love that book, The Dueling Tree. Come, little boy, and shit on my stump. Nah, I'd rather just fire a rifle at you. Target, it swings around into the scored position. This is just like the NFL QB challenge, only deadlier and without Cordell Stewart's incessant whining. Sherry Legate figured would be a favorite in this event. Doesn't matter. These guys are all going to lose to Duke in the semis anyway. We will take on a man named Bruce Pyatt. My name is Bruce Pyatt. I'm a full-time police officer. Don't believe me? Here's my badge. Second job, I do professional shooting. When I'm not at work as a police officer... I leave my gun and uniform on the front lawn. ...shooting, and that's every vacation and holiday I have goes towards shooting, so my family doesn't get much of me. Except when I'm shooting at them. I'll be able to take care of them the way I should. I'm guessing his kid got the Red Ryder submachine gun for Christmas. Psych up mode right now because he's getting ready to face Bob Mastriani in the first round. I don't think he should be listening to System of a Down right now. And should the cameraman be standing right in front of him? Now, Bruce Pyatt, he's a pistol shooter. When we talked to him earlier today, he said, this is just shooting a pistol with a long barrel. Well, and that was just like telling a bad joke with a long punchline. Listen, it's not me against the competitor. It's me against the targets. And right now, Are they shooting a xylophone? He's already on the dueling tree. He is just blowing by Pyatt. And man, that's what makes Mastriani good. He, what makes him good? The fact that he's good? It was actually a little disturbing how good he was. Seal off all clock towers immediately. Knocks out Bruce Pyatt and in the process will advance to the quarterfinals. Notice how smooth Mastriani is. Everything is motionless, including Except that. second reload. Freeze it. 
He is laying an obscene amount of cheek fat on that rifle. They say that's the key to his success. Who says that? He just they. The gun. It's poetry in motion. He's like a very dangerous limerick. Bob Mastriani advances. All right, fast forward. Fast okay, forward. all right. Opponent in the finals is Doug Koenig. One of these two men will win the gold. The other one will win the silver. You talk about intensity, Sherry. This no, you talk deep. about intensity. I'm still on break. Fast. They're accurate, and they're used to working under speed. You're gonna so you can use performance enhancers. Sweet! The challenge for both of these shooters has been controlling their nerves while they were waiting in the tent. And don't be fooled by the times of the earlier rounds, because different strategies lead to different times. This should be I'm easy. guessing the best strategy would be to get the fastest time. Preparation. Bob Mastriani. I think the only things you need to get into this competition are a goatee, a gun, and a healthy dose of simmering rage. Start for both of them. The magazines came right up into the guns. No and what magazines would those be? Tiger Beat? Modern Bride? Now Koenig has to catch up, and that is unusual. Doug Koenig is missing okay. targets. Okay, if even we can't hear the gunshots, then why are these guys wearing ear protectors? Target down, second target down. And Koenig is now shooting Mastriani's dueling tree on the right. And Mastriani, it's done. Look at all my credentials. Look at him, damn it. His girlfriend, Patty, has reason to celebrate because Bob Mastriani has won the gold medal. Doug Koenig goes home with the... Smell my armpits. Smell them or I'll shoot you. Could he have celebrated any later? On TV. Ugh, he's gonna propose? No! Will you marry me? <laughs> How sweet would it be if he was listening to Yes in those headphones right now? Roundabout? Leave it, okay? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back to that marriage proposal. So many mistakes were made here. For such a sharp shooter, I mean, he was awfully sloppy in the biggest shot of his life. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin here. You don't have to know, Jay, because we're going to put this breakdown in the hands of a professional. Thanks, guys. Now, what we have here is a failure to communicate literally. Number one, if you're going to ask the most important question in your life, you might want to take your headphones off so you can hear the answer. Number two, no ring? Come on, at least put a bullet on a necklace. Give her another press credential. Something you got to display some tangible token of your love. Number three, it was a pretty weak proposal, wasn't it? Down on one knee, the standard, hey, will you marry me? Spice it up a bit. How about 